welcome again and uh, thank you to our speaker mr ong mr ong from is from kit codes and uh, he has uh, organized a lot of uh, programs specifically on game design yeah uh, the company is called uh, code kits correct sorry my apologies huh? code kits and today's topic is on game and uh, animation design right and uh, it's a very interesting uh, program using minecraft education so mr ong will teach for about an hour and then if there's any q and a uh, he'll answer the questions for about half an hour so we'll try to finish within one and a half hours okay, at the most if it can be shorter it's okay uh, we can keep it short because this session is recorded and we will share in the uh, our youtube channels as well okay now uh, what's going to happen is that during the presentation mr ong will uh, try to post three questions uh, so this will be a kind of like a pop quiz so sesiapa yang um, uh, jawab dengan betul dan yang ter uh, cepat akan dapat hadiah okay so this is uh, something to keep you active and so that you will listen what are the prizes you will receive 50 ringgit worth of a stem kit okay a stem product so very exciting stem products that we have at a stem for all maker space we'll send to you so three winners for today Okay. Now, this session is conducted in two parts. Right? Today, the first part is going to be on Minecraft education. And tomorrow, it's going to be on the Roblox Studio. So that means two different platforms. And of course, Mr. Ong will explain to you what are the difference between two, two, uh, uh, these two platforms and what you can create out of this. Now, finally, I'd like to say that this program is brought to you by Maranti Makers Lab. Uh, in conjunction with Mingu Science Negara. So some of you students, you may have participated in Mingu Science Negara. If you have not, this is what we do at Mingu Science Negara. We have plenty of events, online, offline, physical activities. And the whole idea is to excite you about uh, anything relating to STEM, okay, which it could be drone making, it could be on 3D design, it could be game development, it could be um, something to do with astronomy so anything that is doing uh, with anything that has got to do with stem is what mingu science negara brings to you okay so with that uh, i would like to uh, uh, pass it on to mr uh, pass this platform to mr ong or oh, one more announcement is that at the end of the session we will give you a certificate all right so those who have registered and participated in today's session will receive a certificate from it uh, from the ministry of science okay and this is to testify that you have participated in this program uh, called uh, minecraft education okay so certificate of participation will be given about a week after all the uh, list is compiled right okay so uh, I'll, I'll hand over to mr ong all right thank you very much uh, mr Roberts. So hello everyone. I just want to have like a quick um, introduction of myself before I begin. So my name is Jun, and I'm actually specialized in data science. I also do a little bit of game design, but my specialist is data science or AI. Okay. So um, I'm I don't. Uh, so I was informed that you guys did not download the game. I'm not sure what happened in between because I expected you guys to have the game ready. But don't worry, we'll spend the next 10 minutes, all right, to download the game first and lock you guys in so that you guys can uh, uh, do your designs inside of Minecraft education. Okay, so I will share my screen. Uh, just give me a second. Yes. All right, good. All right, so um, just really quickly, we'll spend 10 minutes, okay, just downloading the game because I thought you guys already downloaded. Uh, not sure what happened. Okay, so can I get you guys to come into this website, uh, the one I just sent, the link, and then just click download now. And then download, then you just install it like other programs, just click next until you're done, right? And then for the email and password, you guys will be using this to sign in into your Minecraft uh, 
um, account once you guys have downloaded and I get you guys to key in this information. So that's the email, that's the password. So can I get you guys to just click on the download and then it will take some time, not sure how long, so that you guys can download, okay? So uh, while waiting, uh, again, I don't really like to present slides because uh, that's not my way of teaching. Uh, some Sometimes I do with slides, sometimes I don't, depends on uh, the students as well. So I'm pretty sure you guys can just hear me out. So I just want to explain what Minecraft education is. Minecraft education is basically an education version of Minecraft, okay? But it's not, uh, a lot of parents think Minecraft education as um, playing, no. Actually, Minecraft education, what we do here is learn more about designs and learn more about coding. Okay? You design while coding. Because I'm pretty sure if you guys relate, I had experience in uh, game design. So back then when I was doing animations and game design, I have to do a little bit of coding as well. So this is the point of today's workshop, is where we are going to design while learning some few uh, coding concepts as well. Okay, So that's Minecraft education for you. And for those that think it's like a regular Minecraft, no, it's uh, you will deal with what we call code blocks, which I'll explain in a bit once you guys have downloaded. Okay. So when everyone has downloaded, can I get a yes in the chat? So when you download, finish, just open Minecraft Education, and then uh, you just key in these information. And then once you key in, you will, okay, so you will get notified. Okay, so basically, I will, ha you have to key, I have to key in a number in my authentication app. So basically, when you sign in with using these information, uh, just give me the number. You just put it inside the chat so that I can uh, verify you and then you can go inside Minecraft. Okay, okay, wait, wait, okay, one by one. Okay, so I, this is the problem because I thought that you guys already downloaded. Okay, maybe one by one. Okay. Can I get, okay, can you guys um, request again? Okay, one by one. Uh, can I get Nirnama first? Nirnama, can you uh, request again, re-request? And then after that, Aris, okay? Nirnama, uh, you can request again, and then tell me the number. Okay, no worries. So we do it one by one. I know this is a little bit time consuming, but uh, I didn't expect that you guys haven't downloaded it. All right, what's the number? Great. Oh, wait, uh, guys, uh, one by one, yeah? Because if not, I'm not able to, okay, approve. Okay, uh, Aris, your turn. Okay, Aris, can you redo it? Okay, everyone else just wait. If uh, everyone just waits, uh, we can do it within five minutes. Okay, so Aris, you can re-request. And then who wants to go next? Uh, who wants to go next? You can say me in chat, but don't do it first. Okay, Chong, you're next. Okay. And I, and I just joined. Okay, uh, Aris, what's the number? Give me a second. Uh, we sent here. This is the. Okay, yeah, done. Okay, Chong, you're in. Okay, so who else? Okay, Aris, maybe you first. And this is the email and password for those who asked. Okay. Yes, who just requested? 16, all right. All right, who else? Oh, wait, it didn't match. Can you try again? You just have to, okay, everyone else, please wait, because I didn't expect, again, you guys to not have it done. Okay, can you re-request again? Everyone else, please wait. Okay, be patient. Everyone else, please wait. Let Aris do it, because I can only do once at a time on my phone. And I use, yes, you can use your school email to log in, if that's possible. If it's a school email, uh, usually Minecraft gives you, uh, gives you uh, okay, you guys can try it out. Usually they give you free trial. Okay, please log in using your school email as well. Okay, Aris, what's the number? Yeah, try it. I'm not sure if it works. Okay, but try using your school email for those who, okay, approved. Uh, 
multi-game time. Okay, for those who don't want to wait in line, uh, usually it takes some time, but uh, I just wanted it to be quick. For those who don't want to wait, please try to use your school email. Usually they give you trial. Okay. Who just, okay, nice. Okay, it works. Oh, okay, use your school email. Okay, who just 89? Okay, good. You can try using your school email. Yes. Okay. Uh, Zal Zalha, can you uh, re request? Because uh, I was, no, no, can you re request again? Because it's not on my screen anymore. Because Aris was, um, yeah. Aris was requesting. Okay, we'll spend the, the next five minutes doing this. Okay, I don't want to waste too much time. All right, so for those who sign in using your school email, are you guys okay? Did you guys, uh, did it work? Can I just get a yes or a no? Did you guys sign in using us for those who sign in using their school emails? Does it work? Can I get a yes or a no, maybe? Okay. okay, good. All right. So I would suggest everyone else to try to use your school email. Okay, so I will spend okay, so maybe okay, who just requested? Okay, good. For those, please use your school email so that it's faster. I don't have to request. Okay, approve. Yes, Zaha, I approve. Okay, so everyone else from now on, um, just use three minutes to sign in using your school email, then we'll, uh, we'll start, okay? Everyone else is okay, right? So for those who have problems in downloading or even signing in, please let me know. I can't see your screens, uh, but just let me know if you have any concerns. Okay, we'll spend three more minutes and then we'll begin the session. Try to sign in your school email and then, yeah. You can still request from our, um, um, basically the email, but again, to be faster, you guys can spend the next three minutes uh, logging in. All right, just try, for those who log in, just play around it might seem like normal Minecraft, but I'll explain what the difference is. It might seem like a normal Minecraft where you play, but uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding or misconception when it comes to Minecraft education. So uh, you guys can try it out first. Just play around. Okay, okay two more minutes. We'll start at 3.15, two more minutes. Okay. In the meantime, just to understand you guys better, uh, can I get your age? Okay, maybe how old are you guys? Can you just write in the chat so that I see, I can kind of tell your understanding of what I'm gonna be talking about. Okay, maybe can you uh, write your age in the chat? And who just requested? Oh, 14, okay. Uh, who just requested, by the way? For me request uh, 15, okay. All right, so your age is uh, secondary school students. Okay, good. Uh, okay, primary and secondary, uh, 12 years old, I think it's primary. Okay, no, it's not. Okay, one more minute. Who else? Anyone else have problem? If not, I will start in one minute. Yeah. Uh, what's your number? 87. Okay. Yep. Did it go through? Yeah, no worries. Right, so we'll start in 30 seconds. And the thing about Google Meeting is that when I show my Minecraft, I won't see the chat. So just speak out if you have any concerns, because it's not like Zoom. In Zoom, if I change to another program, I still can still see the chat. But for G meeting, I need to actively switch between tabs. Okay, I hope that the teachers are aware of that as well. Okay. So if any questions from the student, maybe you can use uh, yourself or the teachers can help. 
Okay, who just requested? Okay, no worries. Uh, uh, easy kettle, it's fine. Um, if you're still downloading, it's fine because the content will still be relevant. The things I'm going to talk about while waiting, you can just listen to me. Okay. Uh, who just requested, by the way? I have a request. I don't know what number to put in. Okay, maybe who just requested? All right. Uh, no one requested? So I'm just going to okay. say... One query, Mr. Ong. Yes. Uh, in case those who join later and, uh, you know, they, they they have problem downloading? Yes. Okay, how, uh, how can okay. we... Okay, so what I would like to do is that just uh, for those who join late, you can just send them this link. Okay. And then once they download, they can use their student email to uh, log in. Okay, I'll mention that. Okay. Yes. So okay, we thank try, you. We'll try not to interrupt uh, the progress of your your okay. session. Yeah. All okay. right. Thank you. Please, please. All right. So, guys, for those who started, I'm going to switch tabs. But the thing about Google Meeting is that if I switch tabs, I can't see the chat. So, if you have any questions, you can speak up. Okay. So, I will try to actively switch between tabs, but I can't do that all the time. Okay. So, if there's any questions. Please speak up. Don't just write in the chat. Maybe I will miss it. Okay. So I'm just going to come here. So basically, this is Minecraft education. Now, unlike Minecraft, this, okay, so for those who have never played Minecraft before, uh, this is your screen, just like Minecraft education, uh, just like Minecraft, the normal Minecraft. Minecraft education also works the same way. It's play, but here it's different. When you play, you are actually not playing. Okay, so what I want you guys to go, do is create a new world. So for those that never played Minecraft before, Minecraft is an open world game. What it means is that you are spawned in a location and you can do anything you want. You can build a house, okay? You can uh, explore with friends. Um, maybe you want to explore the world with a friend, basically like playing. But in Minecraft education, this is where we take a step further. We're going to talk more about game design and coding design. This is a good platform for people to learn about science, to learn about maths, to learn about coding, to learn about game design. And game design, I just want to make sure you guys understand, it's under the branch of coding and also design, obviously. So there's a little bit of coding and there's a little bit of design. Okay. So what I want you guys to do is press play from your home screen, press play. And then I want you guys to create new, this button over here, just press on create new. And then I want you guys to switch, okay, just come down here on your world settings, just come down here and switch to flat world. Okay, why flat world is because I want it so that you guys will code and I will build your designs inside an empty world. Flat world means it's empty, okay? If you put it as, infinite, it will look like as if you're playing the game. Okay, just put it at flat world. So we're going to learn all the graphic designs here. And make sure you're on creative. Okay, uh, for those non-Minecraft players, creative is basically you have access to all the blocks where you can design your stuff. And then click play. Okay, so make sure you're in. I'm just going to write in the chat. So make sure you're in game settings. Make sure you are in creative and you're in a flat world. Why flat world again? It's because I want to start with an empty land, and then we're going to learn some coding stuff. OK, don't worry. You guys might think coding is hard. It's not really that hard, especially in Minecraft education. And then we're going to do designs with that coding. So this is the flow of the workshop in the next hour. So we're going to learn about few. Uh, OK, step one. We're going to learn about a few coding concepts, which relates to game design, not all. Okay, If it's all, I don't think I can co cover all coding concepts relates to game design. And then after that, we will do game design with the coding that you have done. Or not game design, graphic design, uh, basically. Um, yeah, designs with, uh, to be more general, I want to say designs with coding, okay? Whatever you want to build. Now, you might think, huh, 
I am 14 years old this year. Why am I still learning something from Minecraft? Okay, I'll tell you something. Yes, uh, maybe you guys are, might think like you guys are too old for this, but this Minecraft is actually good in a way that uh, you learn a lot of um, coding skills, especially with what they offer. Okay, just give it a second while it loads. Usually it takes some time. Okay, just give it like one minute while it loads. Give it a second. Uh, by the way, uh, okay, it's loading up. So, is everyone in the screen? Okay, I have like another, I have an iPad, so I'm going. Is everyone in this world right now? Okay, can I get a yes or a no? Okay, good. No? Yes, yes good. All right. How about others? Okay, let me just get a few more yeses before I begin. Or no's. Okay, good. Now, this might seem like just normal Minecraft. Where, okay, so for controls, I will teach you a few things. Can you look at the left side of your screen? So WASD is basically how you move. Forward, backward, left, right. Spaces you jump. Double spaces where you fly. And the most important thing, it's the E. So if you click on E, this is where you have all the access to all the Minecraft blocks. And this is where you're going to design your, uh, you're going to make your designs using these blocks. OK? So those are what we call blocks or inventory. So these are the things that we're going to use to fill later. OK? And the last important thing, uh, who just requested uh, for Minecraft authentication? You can give me the number for uh, someone who requested and write in the chat. Okay, so the most important thing in Minecraft education is the C button. Can you see in your? Uh, can you see on my screen the the left corner? There's one button called C. Okay, when you press on it. It opens this panel. All right. So what I want you guys to do is click on the first one. Minecraft make code. Make sure you click on the purple one. When you click on it, you will be presented like a project, uh, like a project overview. It's like your file system, but for coding. Okay. Click on it, and then you see this. So what I want you to do is click on new project and then give it a name. Just say anything like coding or lessons or something like that. Just click on coding, click on create. Give it a second. Okay. So this is basically what you will see. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, this is basically what you will see when you do the steps that I told you on 91, okay. Uh, can you resend Kishan Kini? Because you were kind of late, so you can resend the thing. Or if better yet, you can use your student email, okay? So like I mentioned, these are what we call the coding blocks that you will learn to build designs and stuff like that, okay? So if you see your left side panel, this is where you're going to 
see all the four blocks. Okay, so they are categorized by color. So let's say, for example, mobs. Every four block here is to do with uh, where to get this panel. Okay, uh, Chung, did you click on C? Um, yeah. Okay, just to show you again. Let me show you. Okay, are you in the screen, Chung? Click C. Okay. Can click on the purple color thing? Can you see there are three options, right? Can you click on the purple color thing? Yeah. And then you'll see this panel, correct? Yes. And then click on new project and then name any project you want. And then just go inside there. Okay. Again, this is what we call a coding panel. This is where you're going to build all your coding stuff. Right, so the first thing that I want to teach you guys is a few code blocks. Now, coding basically means to make something automate uh, to automate stuff. So that means you make something automatically. All right. So the first code block I want to teach you is the agent. So when you click on agent, you will see something like this. Give me a second. Okay. Yeah, you will see all these code blocks. So these code blocks, give me a second. My laptop is a little bit laggy. Okay, so agent is basically this guy over here. When you open C, it always comes up. This is the robot, okay? Like an AI robot, where he's going to help you to do stuff. Whether it's build, whether it's play stuff, or anything you want. Okay, so you can use the agent to do anything. This is what we call the agent. Okay, so if you want to deal with agent, so obviously you need to come to the categories of agent, and the agent code blocks are all in red. All right, let's say for example, you want it so that um, it moves forward. Let's just do it simple first before we go in the uh, action. Okay, so you just put it outside and then uh, just make sure the agent move forward is inside and on check command. Okay, on check command, if you can't find it, it's inside the player. And then you will find one code block called on check command. Um, really sorry, my laptop is a little bit laggy, but hope everyone still sees it. Or, okay, I will switch to my iPad as well. Okay, so. What this code block does is that whenever you type run in the chat, your agent is going to move forward by one. Okay, so what you need to do next is you see this green button over here. Okay, you just need to click on it and it's going to uh, run the code. So now you just need to save it. Okay, you just need to click on this button. Okay. Now, what you need to do now is go to your chat. Uh, by the way, how to access the chat is using the T. Okay, you see the instructions I show you in your left corner. T is to open up the chat. So if I write run now, R U N, and I click on this uh, button, your agent is going to move forward by one. Okay, this is simple code. Understand so far? Between, okay, I'm going to open the panel. So does everyone understand these two blocks? Okay, we can remove the on start. All right, good. How about others? Yes, okay. How about others? And also, a bit faster. Uh, give me a second. I'll set up the Minecraft and my iPad. How about others? Everyone understand the two code blocks? Let me just open. Can you repeat the uh, add the chat card? Yeah, no worries. Uh, let me just open my iPad. It's easier that way. Okay, I'm gonna share my. I'm gonna stop presenting from my laptop.
and I'm going to share my screen on the iPad. So presenting. Just give me a second while I present on my. Okay. Can everyone still hear me? Yes. Okay, I need to share my screen. I can't share my screen on my iPad for some reason. Okay, I'm not sure why I, I usually don't use Google Meet, but I can't share it on my iPad. Okay, it's okay. No worries. I will switch back to my um I'll switch back to my computer. Okay. So okay, so for those who don't know what the run part means, let me just share my screen here. Can everyone see that? Okay, good. Now, which part do you want to present? Or just go at the chat part? Okay, you know, man. So basically, I have used two code blocks so far the blue one and the red one. They work in the, they work as a pair in terms of if I translate this to English, that means that if I write run in chat, I will use my agent to move forward. So what you need to do is the code. And then go to T. T will open up your chat. And then just write the command you give it. So in this case, it's run. So it, and then it will run um, forward by one. Okay. Everyone else understands? All right, good. Now. We're gonna step, uh, we're gonna make this agent do more stuff than just moving forward. So we can go on agent and we can select few more things. Okay, let's click this and we move it here. We can throw away the agent move forward. So it should look something like this. So now when you press run, it's gonna place forward. But this is not when in terms of coding, you need to think logically. Now, what is it going to do? It's going to place nothing because he's not holding it. So the thing is that it's forward. For example, if you go on the page, that's one thing that block or item. Okay, so don't I see my Okay, so I'm just give me a second. Uh, if you need to. Can you hear me now? Okay, so yeah, like audio, the problem now. audio is breaking a little bit. Uh -oh. Um, I think my internet is good. Uh, now it seems to be okay. Uh, Ramesh, can you hear me clearly? Can, can. Now it's okay. Oh, but it's breaking. Uh, we are losing, losing it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, how about now? Can you repeat? Yeah, how about now? Uh, now, I think you have to face the mic. The moment you, you face the other side, then we can't hear you. Yeah, sorry, because I'm using two screens. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, like I mentioned, the problem right now is that if you type run inside chat, it's, uh, wait, it's going to just place forward. But what is it going to place? You didn't tell it what to place. So, what you can do, you can go inside agent and then you can say set block or item. You just need to scroll down. And then you will see this code block. So I want you guys to drag this above the place forward. Okay. And then set to any block you want. 
Okay, let's say, for example, you want to set it to, okay, I'm not sure in what kind of designs you want, but you can click any block. Now, not items, okay? These are items, but I want you to place a block. Okay, place, let's say, for example, a wood plank, and make sure the count is set to the maximum. And in Minecraft, the maximum number is 64 per slot. And then make sure it's in slot one. Okay. So now what it does is that if you run the code, you're going to set the block to um, this block. And then you're going to place it forward. Because if you only have the place forward, you don't know what the agent's going to place. That's basically coding logic. Okay. So do the same thing. Click on the green button. Okay, click on the green button. Uh, and then it's going to save the code. And then now you just need to do the same thing. You just need to write run. And then it's going to place forward. Now, for those who don't see their agent, what you can do is you go on, okay, you go on player, you click one more on chat command. You can name this command agent to call your agent. And then go on agent. And you, can you see this agent teleport to player? I'm pretty sure you guys understand simple coding logic. So what this does is that every time you put, uh, write the word agent, it's going to teleport to you. OK? Chung, understand? Uh, can you see your agent now? Ah, uh, yes. So basically, you can save these codes. And now if you write agent, okay, if you write agent in chat, let's say if I, I am here in my location, and now if I write agent and save it, it's going to teleport to me. And then after that, maybe you can write the command run. So it's going to place forward. OK, everyone understand so far? Sorry about my mic, but does everyone understand these two blocks so far? Okay. Yes, I was right. Thank you for the thumbs up. Uh, how about everyone else? Okay, good. Uh, anyone that does not understand, so I can. It's not working. Uh, okay, I'm not sure. In let me can share your screen. Okay, no worries. Um, can you share your screen with me? Okay, no worries. Uh, is it clear what the what do you mean by not working? Okay, let me explain this. So let's say, for example, you can't find your agent. Some people, when you press C, you will find your agent here. But let's say you want your agent, he's right there, to teleport to me in this block. What you can do is have a command on check command. On check command, the blue color code work means whenever you write something, you do something. Okay, when you write the word agent, some code will run. So the on chat command is actually here inside the blue color code block. Okay, so you just have to drag it out. And then the second block you have to drag out is the teleport to agent. All right, and then drag it like that. Okay, so Emmanuel, so what these two does is that whenever you write the word agent, it's going to teleport to you. Okay, if we save this code, and make sure you save the code, if not, it won't work. Whenever I do code and have in that one, it doesn't work. Okay, um, are you sure? Okay, make sure. Also, one thing is uh, make sure your command is run. Okay, if you have something else, make sure you type the thing that you set. Agent is still not there. OK. Uh, are you able to share your screen? I'm not sure if you guys are able to share screen in Google Meet. Can you try sharing the screen? Uh, Ramesh, I just wanted to ask, are they able to share screen in Google Meet? Um, 
I have to ask our admin whether to okay. activate that. Because you know? usually in our classes, we use Zoom. So in Zoom, there's multiple people that can share screen whenever they have problems. Okay, let me ask Aisha, okay. are you able to activate sharing screen? So if you can just uh, type it in the chat that uh, yes or no. Yeah, but anyway, uh, Chung, the agent is still not there. Uh, okay, make sure you have these two code blocks and make sure you name it agent. And make sure when you type in the chat, you spell it correctly. So it, okay, uh, Ezekiel, I think the only solution is I ask you to share your screen but the admin will be handling that okay but don't worry uh easy cal chung doesn't matter if it doesn't work for now i will look at your screen later but does this two code block make sense in my screen does it make sense in my screen as long as yes okay it makes sense that's all it matters later on i'll check your code okay how about chung does these two code block make sense don't worry you listen to my screen first Okay, good. So everyone understands this. So basically what I can ask the agent to do, other than place forward, you can see here, I can even place backwards or up or down. Okay, let's say if I place up, okay, if I choose to place up and I change the code. Now this time, if I write the word run, right, let me just set it to be so if so now if I write the word run, it will place on top of the agent. Okay, so if I write run now, yes, it plays on top as expected. Okay, so you can play around this code later on. Okay, you can play it out yourself. It's just a one hour workshop. I can't teach a lot, but basically you can do a lot with it. Yeah, now, Hong, they, can, they can share screen. Okay, uh, okay. Um, can you share your screen now? Or uh, I have to stop sharing so that you can share. Uh, in Zoom, you can share to, you can have two uh, multiple, multiple. Okay, let me stop presenting. Can you share your screen? Because in Zoom, you can share two times. Can I share my screen? Yes. Let me know when you share your screen. Unable to share. Okay. Um, okay, no worries. Uh, maybe admin can look into that. It's okay. I, oh, yeah, yeah. Just make sure you understand my my code right now. Okay, let's continue. Yes. All right. Maybe admin will help you later. Okay. As long as everyone understands the code right now, later on you we we can do something into it. Okay. Wait. Okay. Now. So like I mentioned, you can place up, left, right stuff like that, but. Let's say, for example, I want to make the agent build a line. Okay, let's say I want to build something like this, but with coding and coding designs. Let's say I want to build something like this. Uh, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's say I want to build a line of seven. How would I do that? And this is a little bit more on coding. So if you think logically, what the agent needs to do, it's place forward. Okay, let's say I'm the agent. I'm going to, let's say I'm place a grass plot. I'm going to place forward like this. But the problem is if I place forward, I can't move forward because it's blocking me, correct? This is logical stuff. So what I can do, I'm gonna place left, move forward, place left, move forward, place left, move forward, place left. And you get the logic. 
because I can't place forward. If I place forward, I can't move forward because it's blocking me, right? So the same thing as an agent, what you can do, okay, so you're going to set the block first, and then you're going to place left or right, okay? You can't place forward. Why you can't place forward is because if you place forward, you can't move forward to place another block, okay? So you place left, and then after that, you just need to move forward and place it inside here. And then what you need to do, because you need to place seven times, correct? Encoding, there's something called loops. It's like loops means repeating. Uh, in, in programming, it's one thing called loops. I'm pretty sure some of you guys are programmers. So loops are the ones that make it repeat. Let's say if we want to build a line, So what it means is that it will, okay, this is a seven. So what this does is that it will place left, move forward, place left, move forward, place left, move forward. These two code blocks will be repeated seven times. Okay, if I save this, and then I'm going to write run now, focus on my agent. Okay, so it will place a line of seven. Does everyone understand this code? Uh, just say no if you don't, so I will explain again. I'll say yes. Why place left? Why place right? Why can't we place forward? Everyone understand? Okay, before I move forward, does everyone understand this code block right here? Okay, maybe can I get a yes or a no? Like that. Yes, good. Mohammed, thank you. How about others? Can I at least get five responses? Over here, just give me five, then I will continue. How about others? Yes, yes, yes. Even though it's a no, it's okay. I will try to explain again. Okay, anyone else? Are you okay? Okay, no worries. All right. So, do you, um, okay, so basically, for Emmanuel, give me a second. Now, I'm going to remove these. Okay, Emmanuel, these two photos, does it make sense for you? These two photos. Okay, just make sure. Does it? Okay. So if I save this code, what it's going to do, let me teleport my agent here first. I'm just going to write agent. It's going to teleport to me. Now, if I write run now, it's going to place left. Right? Now, if I want to do it seven times, let's say I am the agent. Let's say I am the agent, OK? So if I place left, if I want to do it seven times, what do you need to do next? Move forward. And then only I can place the next block on my left. And then move forward. Place, and then I do this time, uh, this thing seven times. Okay. So what I need to do is that I need, after I place left, I need to move forward so I can place the next block. So I need to move forward code block over here. And then I need a loop. Loop again is to repeat the two steps that I need. Okay, so I can repeat. And then put this here, and then just put these two code blocks inside that need to be registered. And then change the number to seven. So that means that right now I'm going to place, move forward, place, move forward, place, move forward, place, move forward seven times. Understand? Mano? Okay, let me uh, teleport my agent here. Mano, do you understand? Okay, good. Okay, so I'm going to show this again before I continue. So I'm going to say run. Okay. So that's how you do it. Okay. So basically, you can do something like that. Okay. Let me give you another example. Let's say I want the agent. Okay. Let's say I do uh, something for him. Give, give me a second. 
Okay, I'm going to use a pink block because it's more visible. Okay, let's say I have something like this. I want so that the agent will fill in the blocks. Okay, I want it to detect whether if there's a block. If there's a block, I will just do nothing. But if there's no blocks, I want it to put a block towards the left. Okay, so we're going to do this together. Don't worry. It's but actually it's easily. Okay, so, but do you understand my question? So what I want to do is make the agent fill in the blocks. Okay, so I have two conditions. Let me write condition one. Condition one is that if there is block towards left, skip. Condition two, if there is no block Towards left, place left. Okay, so these are the two conditions. Uh, let me set my time today. So, in programming and in game design, you will deal with a lot of conditioning. Conditioning means if blah, 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 then I do something else. Okay, so these are the conditions. So, what how do you do conditions? Okay, let me just remove these. Two. Okay, so we're left with only set block. So what I need to do, can you see on logic? Logic is where we do the conditioning. Okay, what it's gonna do. So if okay, I'm just gonna put it here. But what this code block does, it's giving a condition. If something happens, then I do something. If let's say, for example, in a real life scenario, if you score more than 80 marks, then you can travel to uh, Dubai, for example. Okay, I know it's a really bad example. If you get more than 80, your parents will sponsor you a trip to Dubai. If not, then you have to, uh, you're, you're grounded for five days. So basically, it's the same thing. So your condition one. I'm just going to write here. Wait, your condition one, if marks more than 80, then I go to Dubai. Condition two, if marks less than 80, I know it's a little bit cool, less than 80, then you're grounded, but basically, just an example. Then I am grounded for five days. Okay? So, what I want you to notice is the word if and then. If something happens, then I do something else. The same way in my code block, can you see there's something called if and then? Yeah, so that's basically conditioning. So what I need to check for in the if, because in my example, I said if my mark is more or less than zero. Uh, no, more or less than 80. This is my condition. But in this case, what I need to check for is if, okay, let me go to agent. So there's one block. Let me see. Okay, if detect block. Okay, so you need this block. So I'm going to put it in first, and then I'll explain. If you detect a block towards the left, okay. Let's say okay. So you guys, will, uh, you guys know how to read this already. So this block means if my agent detects a block towards the left, then what I want it to do. Okay. Let's say if I detect a block left. So if you see the two messages I sent you, I say skip. Correct. So I say skip when if it detects a block towards the left. So basically, by skipping, you can just move forward to the next block. Okay? So you just need to, and that's what I meant by skipping. Okay? You just ignore the block. You're not going to face anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to just move forward one. And then if you move forward one, it's going to check the other block. Okay? So now he's on this block. Okay? Now what I wanted to do, if there's a block, 
Now, this time it doesn't have. So it's like basically your max gets less than eight, uh, 80. So what do you want to do? So here, can you see a plus button? Now, this is only if it's detecting a block. Uh, no, no. If it's detecting a block, yeah, correct. But if it doesn't detect a block, then we want to do something else. This is where we press the plus button. When you press the plus button, it's going to say else. Else is basically like, if it, doesn't detect, uh, if it doesn't detect a block, then I will do this. OK, that means that if my agent detects a block map, then I do something. If not, then I do something else. Okay, the something else that I'm going to do is place the block. Okay, I'm going to place the block. So I just need to, uh, wait, give me a second. I'm just going to place the block like this. I place it now, obviously. Okay. So I'm going to place, okay, I just want to change the color so it's easier to identify. Maybe this, any, any wood, okay, any block. So does everyone understand this? If else, conditioning. So again, I want to explain. Yes. Okay. Good. You know. Uh, everyone else. For those who understand, I will explain again. But do you understand this block? This code block. No. Everyone else. Good. How about everyone else? Give me three more responses before I uh, continue. Good. Maybe Emmanuel, I'm okay, good. All right, good. So the point I want to mention is not about Minecraft. This is more to do with real life situation. Now I come from uh, industry experience. I do multiple projects for um, data science projects, like for Shopee during COVID and stuff like that. If else statement, it's a really good code block. I mean, not code block. It's a really good coding concept that you learn, whether it's in game design, whether it is in uh, when you're building a website, when you're doing a data science project, for example, the, this if else statement, you will see it in a lot of coding languages. Python, JavaScript, Java, everything has the same code block. It's just the grammar is different. Okay, so I want to mention again, if agent detects a block map, then we move forward. Else, we just place left. We save this code and we write the word run. But you'll see, you'll see like it doesn't work properly. And I'll explain why. If I write run, huh, why doesn't it work? Now, okay, I'm going to put back my agent here in this block. Why it doesn't work? It's because if you check in your code, this check is only once. It's only checking for one block. Now, in the first case, it detects a block. So what it's going to do, it's going to move forward. And then it stops. OK? So it stops because that's all it needs to do is just do one check, which is according to the code. You just need to do one check. How many things do I have to do? Now, it depends. How many blocks? Uh, can you hear me? Sorry. Uh, Aris, can you? Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, I want to explain again. All right, sorry. Okay, so if we try this code, you will see something weird happening. It's not working as expected. So if I write the word agent, Wait, wait, not agent, sorry. If I write the word run, give me a second. If I write the word run, you will see something weird happen. Huh. It's not filling up all the blocks, the empty blocks, like you expect it to do. Now, why is this the case? Check back your code. This check, the one that everything is inside blue, is only checking it for once. It's only checking for one time. Why? It's because, OK, let's say the first block where agent check, now it detects a block, right? So what it does, it comes in here and say, oh, it's going to move forward by one. Then it stops. 
It's not going to check the second time. It's not going to check the third time. Why this is only a single check? That's why it moved forward and stopped. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to check the condition how many times. Now let's count. We want to check once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we need to check it nine times. So what I need to do, loops that you have learned. So I put this here and put the if block inside here. So I check for nine times. Now, in the nine check, uh, nine check, sometimes it has blocks, sometimes it doesn't have blocks. If it has blocks, then I move forward. If not, then I just place left. Okay, so I need to check this nine times. Okay, before I run the code, everyone understand this? Why I need to put loop, uh, wait, give me a second. Everyone understand this before I run the code? Everyone understand why I put a loop? Yes, coding has to be precise, and this comes from experience. And this is to do with game designs as well. I will get into it. Uh, then. But does everyone understand why I put repeat night? A lot of trouble in order. Yes, correct. OK, good. Everyone else? Nice. Good. All right. So if I save this code, Okay, I want everyone to look at my screen. You don't have to check yours first. I'm going to look from on top. I'm going to write the root run, and you'll see magic. Okay. So that's basically check. So it checks all the nine blocks, and there you go. So basically, it fills in the hole like you expect, and this is with the Okay, now this is just a one or one to a one and a half hour seminar. So obviously I can't teach you everything. Okay, so what I need you to do is, okay, I want you, so basically you will have a competition. Uh, basically the requirements will be set by me as well. So what I need you to do is within this week, can you just explore the blocks that you need to use? Okay, so these are the blocks that you use and then I want you to use the agent to build something you want. Okay, maybe build the stairs. Okay, build a house. You can even build a house with the agent. You just need to think logically. Like I mentioned, I can't teach you everything because one and a half hour, I don't think it's enough. Okay, so what I need you to do is try to come up with something. And sometimes you can use the agent, sometimes you can use your hand to build it. Okay. Now, one last example before we come to the questions. All right. So I'm going to teleport my agent to a new location. Now, oh, by the way, for those who didn't really catch up, I'm not sure if there's any. So far, everyone's clear. Uh, you can take a screenshot of my code, and then you can try it out yourself as well. Now, like I mentioned, I can't teach you all the coding inside of Minecraft right now. Uh, so I will jump this. Final Okay, no worries. Okay, so those are the code blocks. You can take a screenshot. For those who have tried it, you can take a screenshot as well because later on you will try it out yourself. Or you can review back, uh, you can review this recording right after it's posted on YouTube. Okay. So next one. I want the agent to build the stairs. Now the logic is really simple. Okay, let me, okay, my fellow agent is here. Now this time I'm gonna use paint to explain. Actually, I use my iPad, but I can't share screen for some reason. So I'm gonna use paint to explain. Okay, let's say for example, this, and please excuse my drawing. I'm not really a good drawer, especially using a mouse. Okay, let's say this is the land. Let's say it's a flat land, okay? I know you might think it's not flat, Wait, is there a ruler? Okay, no worries. Let's say this is your agent. Okay, what I want is basically like the stairs, like this. Let's say a stairs or tree. How do I do that? So this is where I teach a lot of people to use drawing to understand your code better. 
Okay, what it means is that first step, obviously, you need to set the block to whatever block you want. Okay, let's say you want to use it to set, uh, let's say you want to use um, wood or gold or whatever you can find in Minecraft. You, use, you set the block first. Second step, can you see just now I drew like this? So this is how I draw it. So obviously, if the agent is facing here, so you just place forward. This is the second step. Now, I usually explain better in iPad, but since I, don't, uh, I can't share my screen on Google Meet, uh, I will use this. OK, so I place forward. Okay, this is the first block. Now, what do I need to do now? I need the agent to come here and build this block right here. But the agent right now, he's here. So how do I make it move to the uh, place that I need it to place forward to? So the next step, let me change back to brush. I think, yeah, the next step is to move up. Now, when the agent, now he can't move forward because the block is blocking him. It, the only option is where you move up, okay? So when it moves up, you will update your agent. From here, he goes up by one. Okay, I'm gonna use blue. He's gonna be here, okay? When he, he's like floating. Oh, by the way, Minecraft doesn't have physics logic or gravity logic. So the guy will actually fly, okay? So move up. And then are you gonna place forward now? Let's imagine that. If you have your step four as place forward, I'm just going to write place F. It's going to place like this. This is not what you want. So that's why I mean like um, drawings will help you understand it better. So I think the competition, you guys can use drawing to understand the code as well. So you are not supposed to place forward. What you need to do is make the agent move forward. So now, the agent will come from here to here, on top of the room. OK? So move forward, and then it's going to do this. Then next step, you face forward again. Now, if you place forward now, he's going to place it here. And you kind of see the idea. Okay, what's the sixth step? Okay, obviously, move up. Move up is going to come from here to here. And then what's next? And then after that, you just, um, what is it? Uh, yeah, you can just move forward. The same steps. I want to show you something. You move forward. Okay, so the agent will go to here. And then again, you place forward. But can you see my steps? Can you see something similar in the blocks? Can you see this? Wait, let me change the color. Okay, guys, can you see this? This set and this set. Three, four, uh, no, two, three, four. And five, six, seven. Are they the same thing? Now they are the same thing. So what you can do, you remove these last uh, few steps and loop it. Yes, correct. You can loop these three. You don't have to repeat it now. You want to loop it four times, five times. You will build five. If you want to loop it hundred times, you will build a stairs of uh, hundred. So I'm gonna translate this into. Okay, so I'm going to put it side by side. Okay, so what I'm going to do, go here. I'm going to delete everything. Oh, wait, not everything. I need to block first. And what's next? I need to place forward. Okay, so let me just place forward first. Okay, after place forward, can you see it says move up? my steps. So I'm going to move up. Okay. So, agent. Okay. 
yeah, move. Okay, move forward and then you just change it to move up. Okay, stay forward, move up. Inhale, move forward again. Now, after these three, like multi game time, I'm sorry, your name is hilarious. Okay, so after that, you can loop it because the five, six, seven is the three, two, three, five, or four. So you can loop the thing. Okay, let's say you want to loop it. Now I'm just going to put like, um, Save this code. I'm gonna maximize my screen. Set date. Okay. Now where's my agent? Okay, here. Can you see him right now? Okay. Now if I do run, can you see the same thing as my painting? I know it's horrible, but everyone understand. Okay, I'm gonna put this side by side, but everyone understand my code. And my explanation. Good. Everyone else? Jung, um, everyone else that are still inside the class? I think, okay. Good. 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 All right. So, okay. How about others? Can I get a few more responses, maybe? Good. Now, I'm going to give you a quiz. Now, actually, I'll write this inside. Okay, give me. I have the questions written down, but I need to copy and paste it in chat. So, give me a few minutes. Okay. So, okay, uh, before I end, so basically, we're coming to an ending. So, right now, what I want you uh, what to explain is basically the pop quiz and also the um, competition. Now, I know you guys understand, and it's crystal clear, but I know there's so much more that you guys haven't learned, okay? This is where I need you guys to draw the things that you want to build in Minecraft. At the end, this is game design. So for those that never played Minecraft before, you can look at all the blocks. Then you can build anything you want, and then the uh, judging criteria, I think it's up to Maranti, but I'll give you the programs. But basically, you guys can try it out yourself. Okay, think logically. If you want to build a house, you can do something like this. Make the agent, make you as the agent. Put the steps. Does it make sense to move forward? Can it move forward even? Is there a block blocking it? So coding actually comes from logical thinking. And then obviously a little bit of coding knowledge, but coding, I wouldn't say it's really tough. Now I know I come from experience, but actually if you learn the right way, it's the same thing. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is try more examples for yourself. Let's say, for example, you want to make the agent build a bridge. Now let's say you want the agent to build something like this. This time it's gonna place down. It's not placing forward. So you need to think in terms of the agent, okay? So those are the things I can explain. So I hope everything was clear, crystal clear today. Okay, so I wanna go through. So we talked about if, sta uh, if statements, okay? I think you guys have the screenshots. I don't have it right now. And we talked about loops. And then most importantly, we talked about drawing diagrams for your game designs, okay? So I want you guys to design something later, but give me a second. I'll stop sharing my screen. And I'm going to give the, um, the pop quiz inside the chat. Um, uh, Ramesh, are you there? Mr. Ramesh? Yes, um, yes um. Uh, Do I give the question all at once? Um, Ken, also, since we are coming to the end of the session already, another about 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, so I think it'll be okay. Yeah, you can give all three and um, we will take note of who responds the fastest and the correctly, right? Okay, sure. Now, um, there are three questions and they are all in MCQ because I don't believe we have the time to do multiple choice questions. I mean, uh, essay questions because no time. 
Okay, so give me a second while I do it. Uh, okay, wait, I just need to open the file. One. I just hope I didn't accidentally press enter because it's not ready. It's okay. Okay, this is done. Okay, let me just copy the question and okay. So the three questions are ready. Now they are not the tough, it's actually from the topic that I talk about. But you need to think logically. So what I want you guys to do open paint so basically you do a little bit of logical game design thinking like basically the one that i showed you uh, the stairs example okay so i'm gonna paste it as is everyone ready okay because this one is relating to price you have a price if you get all three questions correctly but are you guys ready wait okay so i'm gonna paste it now I um, wait, can I paste? Oh, I can't paste all three at once because Google has a uh, Google Meet has a limit. Okay, I'm gonna paste question by question. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, this one's the first question. This is the second question. This is the third question. Now this is not exactly okay. So try it out. Okay. So, so uh, um, you would know the answers correct. Yeah, I would know the answers for yeah. them. So help me to choose the correct one and the fastest one, right? Uh, Muhammad, just write all three together. Okay. No, no, no. Write three together because it will be really hard for me to check. Okay. Uh, yes, students. Um, all three answers together, right? Please, can you make sure you type in all uh, three? If you type one by one, it's not going to count. You're first. Is Anthony correct with his answers? Not quite. OK. Try again, Anthony. Uh, how many prizes are there? Like, there are three, right? Three prizes, yes. Let them know. Make sure you write all three together. Please write all three answers together. Okay, I got three already. Okay, that's three. So first place would be Chiang. Then second place would be Chiang. And third one would be Chiang. All answers are actually three. Okay, uh, there's a little bit tricky on the second question. I will go through it in a bit. As in, like, uh, 
Sorry, it's embarrassing. Ong, can you face the mic, please? Oh, yeah, sorry. So the winner, let me just write down their names. Uh, no. And then... Oh, third one is Anthony, actually. Uh, Ramesh, uh, uh, Mr. Ramesh, can you see the... Yes, I can. Okay. So uh, I can see uh, three winners uh, equal. Uh, so all of you will receive a 50 ringgit uh, worth of stamp kit, which we will post to you. So congratulations to Chong. Uh, Kong Wen Hui and uh, Anthony, right? Um, and to the rest of you, I must say that you have been very attentive. Okay, congratulations. I, I like the way you respond and pro you have been listening very tentatively, very attentively, all right? So it's a very good session. I must thank uh, Ong for this wonderful session. Yes, indeed, it is a very crammed session, but the whole idea is just to get you excited, uh, to give you a feel how is it like to create games you know using minecraft education all right so if you need to do more if you like more you can get in contact with us uh, we'll put you in touch with uh, uh, ong and his team and probably they will have more lessons do you have online classes Ong? uh yes we do have online classes but then as for that demographic uh i wouldn't advise them to go for minecraft education uh, because we have like a specific course for them. If they want to learn about game designs, um, usually we advise them to learn web development. Web development, you learn about creating um, designs. So basically, that's also my specialty. And I create um, websites for clients, and this is where they can learn about designs All right. and also coding. So they work hand in hand. So yeah. there you go here. So if you are really interested, you know, in game development and uh, animation, then of course get in touch with us. Get in touch with Ong, and uh, you know you'll be able to learn more. So today's one, like I say, is just an introductory session to get you excited and those who are interested. And I again congratulate you for uh, being very patient and listening to this session. Right. So. Uh, uh, we'll come to an end. Uh, tomorrow, we've got another very exciting session. And tomorrow is another platform using Roblox. Right, Ong? Yes, correct. But it won't be conducted by me. It will be conducted by um, the other partner. Yes. Okay. All right. So there will be another facilitator for tomorrow. But we hope we will be listening uh, to Ong for future sessions. Yeah, maybe we'll have more programs. All right. Um, yes. Okay, so the three winners, could you please give us your particulars, eh? your email, uh, contact number? I don't think uh, you need to share here, but we need your contact number. May I suggest that you uh, text me personally? Yeah, so you can text to me. Okay, I'm typing my contact. Okay, that's my contact number. So the winners, please text me your details, i.e. your email address um, and your contact number so that we will be able to let you know how you can collect or how we will be able to send you um, the prizes that you have won for today. Okay, right. So is there any questions or not? Maybe if you have, anybody uh, has got any questions, any suggestions, we welcome before we set, uh, end this session. Uh, maybe I can say a few things for the students first, maybe before they ask any questions. Sure. Sure, uh, this is just a suggestion for those who are um, into game development or even coding or even both. Okay, so basically, the best way to learn coding and um, designs is by doing a lot of projects. Now, the best way to start, especially with your age, 
It's not Minecraft education. Minecraft education is just to give you a feel. Now, if you want to learn more, I feel like web development is really good in terms of getting a broader overview in uh, all these aspects. Not only you learn about coding, not only you learn about designs, you will learn about business skills as well. Because what I mean is that when you create a website, where you press your button is really important. What, what kind of customers you're dealing with is also important for your design. What kind of colors you use is also really important. So basically, web development and mobile development is a good start for you guys. Okay, so I yeah, that's it for me. If do you have any questions before we end the session? Yes or no? Uh, you guys can just write inside the chat. Okay, no. Yeah, if if uh, I think. Um, uh, thanks again, Ong, for the last piece of advice, uh, you know, because uh, we can see your expertise and passion very much in game development. I uh, hope we'll have future um, events that we can engage with you. Yeah. All right, uh, kids, thanks again. Terima kasih di atas minat dalam program Minggu Sains ni, okay, yang bertajuk Minecraft Education. Um, be on behalf of um, Maranti Makers Lab and uh, organizer for the Mingu Science Negara, we'd like to thank you very much for your participation. Yeah, uh, please try to join in tomorrow for another session. And also the competition that we mentioned, uh, we will highlight it uh, once we have the poster ready. We have all your contacts. We'll share with you. So we'll give you one week to participate in the competition. Yeah, remember we mentioned about the competition. So that's something that uh, we will share with you, All right? Um, with that, we shall end our session today. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Terima kasih. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Ramesh. Thank you. Peace.